social media marketer and content creator and in this video I'm going to teach you how to get the best results with Instagram marketing and for this you need to use powerful analytics that are offered by external softwares. So one such software is called Share My Insight. Share My Insights is an analytics tool that allows you to get even more insights than the Instagram app itself and you also get insi detailed insights into your posts, followers, competitors and more. So let's jump right in. So if you find this video helpful, I'll appreciate it if you give me a like, leave a comment and subscribe to see more videos like this. So this is what you're going to see when you open up your Share My Insights on your desktop. You can also see it, access it from your mobile app, but I feel that the desktop view is much better and it allows you to uh, visualize things in a different perspective. The main menu for the analytics is here on the left. First, we have the home button. Here you're going to see an overview of your account. Then we have audience insights, we have insights into your posts, stories, competitors, and locations. So first thing you're going to want to check is obviously your overview. So under the home tab, when you click overview, it's going to show you a quick summary of your main statistics, such as the number of likes, comments, engagement rate, you're also going to see a followers growth chart, recent post, locations, and your most popular hashtags. And from here, you can also customize your view. Let's say you want to check for the last 30 days, and then the insights are going to change. If you want more detailed insights, then you're going to look at creating your custom dashboard. Each of these options is a different chart. So you can just play around, go ahead and choose which one you think it's more relevant for you. Like for me, if let's say this is my client, I'm going to want to show them the followers growth. So every time you add a new chart like this, I'm going to send it to the bottom with the simple click on an arrow. Let's go back to the menu and we're going to talk about audience insights. So under audience, you have audience insights, which are going to show you how your followers have been growing and how effective your profile is in capturing your audience. So the first thing you're going to see here at the top is your followers growth chart. So here you're going to look at any spikes in the chart. You're going to want to go and analyze further to see why your followers are suddenly spiking on one day. Is it something that you posted? Is it related to an ad campaign? Or why suddenly your followers are losing interest in your content if you see a sudden dip? Again, as with anything, you can adjust the date. Let's go to the same 30 days period. So. Yeah, I usually I like to look on a monthly basis so you can see the number of followers you gained versus the number of followers you lost in this period. Then you can see reach and impressions. So for me, reach and impressions are very important uh, metrics of having a successful Instagram account because if you have a high reach means that your profile is getting more visibility. So again, we are looking at spikes in graphs. So on this date, on 3rd October, I had a huge spike in my reach as well as impressions. So I'm going to look back at what content did I post on this day? And is this related to a paid ad campaign or uh, what, you know, what caused this high spike? Next, we're going to look at new followers and profile views. So new followers, again, you're trying to see what, on what dates you had a massive amount of followers following you, how did they find you, and try to see whether you can relate it to a specific post you shared or whether it's your content strategy. Let's go to post analytics. So under post 
insight, uh, you're going to find your engagement metrics and your uh, post interactions. Now, the first thing I'm going to look at is the post count. So this first chart actually indicates whether you are being consistent in your posting. So you can see that I have consistent spikes. Yes, some days I have more posts than other days, but usually there's the gaps between the posts are equal. So it means that I'm being consistent. Now, we are looking at engagement metrics. So likes and comments are usual very common indicators of whether your audience likes your content. I like to look at uh, overall growth in comments or likes. So for example, in this month I had huge growth in likes and then I had a drop in comments. So that may be the type of uh, content that I posted is more likable, but I didn't uh, invite people to leave a comment. So if we scroll down to post types, we're going to see some interesting information. The first chart shows you how many different content types you posted in a month. So for example, for me, I had more carousel posts and then followed by images. The next chart shows you which type of post got more likes. So for example, images had 49 likes while carousel had 39 average likes and then videos had the least number of likes so based on these charts i can tell that i should be focusing more on images post than carousels the final chart that you get under post is your best posting time now what i like about this chart is obviously you can find your best time for comments impressions but i like to choose to filter my best time for each. So the most popular time is Friday 4 p.m. It even tells me here. So if I want to reach more people now, I can look at this chart and I will know what time to post. Under post, we also have insights into hashtags and our top posts. So let's look at top posts first. So this is something similar that you will get on the Instagram app, but the difference is that you get some extra statistics that are not available on the app. For example, you get uh, engagement on, on reach. Not only you get the engagement for each post, you can rank your top post by engagement on reach. This is something important to know because you want to optimize to share the best content for the people who are already following you. So when I look at my past posts, when I analyze my client's past posts, I will look at the previous month and then I will try to sort them out by engagement on reach. From looking at this, I can tell that people like a post like this where I'm telling them my personal story and they obviously leave more likes and more comments. So the last thing that you need to check under post is your hashtag strategy. So this app analyzes all the hashtags that I'm using and it tells me which are helping me to grow and which hashtags are the worst for likes or for engagement. So I'm going to sort my hashtags by the total number of likes, comments, reach and impressions. So you can see this chart, it actually analyzes every single hashtag that I used within this time frame that I'm inputting and I can also export it as an Excel sheet. So I cannot stress how important it is to know whether your hashtags are performing or not on Instagram. It's really one of the top things that I like to optimize for myself and for my clients. Now that we are done with the post insights, let's look at stories insights. So stories insights are a bit different because uh, stories on Instagram only last for 24 hours. So if you didn't catch your story and you didn't check your insights on the app instantly, you're going to miss out on the statistics. So why I love share my insights is because you can look back at your monthly or weekly stories insights and then you can see how they perform and you can compare them month on month basis. The first chart here, it tells you how many stories you posted in a day. The important thing that I'm looking here is that consistency. The next thing you can look at stories is your reach and impressions. So if we look at the reach, you can see that the reach on stories is much, much higher than the reach or 
your feed posts. So I don't know why, but it seems that the Instagram algorithm is showing stories to more people than it's showing your feed post. Or it can be that people are more interested and the first thing they watch on the app is your story. And then the last chart that you can see is a pie chart of your story types. You can see that I posted mostly video stories where I record myself talking to the camera and then I have also a few image types of stories. But when we look at the performance, you can see that images have a better reach than videos, which is quite interesting. I did not expect that. I always thought that videos will do better and they have more chance to reach the explore page. But it seems that in the last month, my images outperformed videos. If you go back to the menu, you can also check your hashtags performance on stories. This is the same like you were checking the performance on post. You can export them into a separate Excel file and then analyze them to check your stories hashtag reach. And you can also look at what were your top stories. You can rank them based on replies, which is the number one metric that I recommend you to look at when you, when you share stories. Under competitors, you can add up to three competitors. Okay, so let's add Akshaya as a competitor. Now, once you have your competitors in, it's time to look at the overview. So the app will show you how you compare to your competitors when it comes to the number of followers and how is the overall engagement rate, how is the followers growth, what are the top posts. I can even see the number of likes my competitors have in the this uh, previous month. You can also check your competitors' hashtags. You can see how many hashtags each of them share in a post. You can see their most popular hashtags. And again, my favorite tool, you can see and export the hashtags. Lastly, the last insight that is available on Share My Insights is the location tracking. So the app shows you how your followers change in certain countries and cities around the world. Under location, you can also add a location tracking. For example, if you're a local business, you're let's say in London and you want to check, you want to track your followers growth in that specific town, you can add it as a location and then you can come back here and see which locations your followers are growing. So to add the location, you just click a button. You can choose either a country or a city, let's say a country. So it's quite fun to see how your followers are growing in specific locations and that's all about this tutorial on how to use share my insights so just remember share my insights is an amazing tool that you can use whether you're a social media manager you're managing multiple accounts you want to generate reports for yourself or for your clients i think it's a good tool that you can use overall to get better performance for your Instagram account. So let me know what you think about this review. Have you tried this app and what other apps or tools for uh, Instagram marketing do you suggest to try next? Have a nice day. Bye.